You might remember in the last video that Chester the dog portrait took about 50 hours for my dad to complete. Some of his paintings are even closer to 150 hours or even up to 250 hours to complete. So I thought it would be a fun little challenge to see what he could do with just 20 minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, so she asked me to uh, draw a canvas back, and I have a background in waterfall. It's not, I haven't done them for a long time, but I, we're about to find out if there's enough in my memory bank. So, starting from zero, um, you always work large to small. So, trying to imagine where this is going to end up on the paper. They have quite a unique bill it's long and regal their nickname is the king of ducks so I am drawing off my memory to accomplish what a what I remember a canvas back looks they have a long they're called bull necks that's their nickname and so I am attempting to draw me a bull neck. Pretty good start actually. I'm starting with um, this very soft vine charcoal. Um, you work big to small and light to dark. You don't do those beautiful dark darks until the very end. If you really blacken a, an area and then you say, oops, and you want to make an adjustment, uh, see you later. If it's really black, you're not going to be doing that. So, we'll call this a swimming. The males are bulls, the hens are, the females, excuse me, are hens. So, so I'll, I'll try and center that a little more in the camera. I don't know, maybe I screwed it up. Anyway, so that's kind of good. This is called the outer shell or the outer shape. That's what I do. The big things are homes for the smaller things. You really can't start with the small things. You have to first create their homes with the larger things. So I'm just kind of bringing this in. We're going to kind of, we're going to pretend that the light source is, let's say here, we'll call this the light source. How's that? So everything that's not struck by light will be in shadow, right? Put his eye right about there. I'm just tapping him in. I'm just floating him in. I'm... Do you see how uncommitted I am? Very lightly, very faint, very tentative. I think it can go up just a tiny bit. Uh, I'm gonna thin that neck down just a tiny bit. Uh, young artists are sometimes afraid to proceed because of the fear of making mistakes but until a line is down you will not know if it's right or wrong even if it's wrong it has value because you can say that's wrong that should be higher or that's wrong that should be lower and it's a point of beginning that's a surveyor's term. 
Any line you make is a point of beginning. It has value, even if it's wrong, because it helps you find what's right. So I think that's going to be my outer shell, kind of. So um, the ducks, look, I'll just do a little quick sketch here. Straight on the ducks profile, I'm going strictly by memory, but after carving and selling 500 wooden decoys and winning four international contests, blah, blah, I kind of know. So this will, we'll call the... <laughs> We'll call this the head shape, looking straight on, and then we'll call this the bill. A little wider at the bottom than the top. So, you see I have, I'm a little broader across the head. And then I come in. And then I come out again. So, we're going to, that's a, that's a frontal. Here's the side profile. So, you see this narrowing here? that's going to be in shadow so we'll just start putting that in this is very very soft oh and then the neck now here's the bull neck so they come down just massive necks not every species most species actually don't have this but they do so it's just a really fat stout neck so, and then as it, you can you see under here, this will all be in shadow if my light source is up here. So, here comes that then. This shadow right under here. We'll just put that in like this. Another way we can do this is with a common makeup foam thingy. See how nice that is? See how soft that is? Lights, lighter values come out and darks recede. So by leaving this light, it's like it comes out, which it does in real life. So we'll do that. And then the crown would get hit by light, right? There's my light source, so I better not blacken that. That will give the wrong idea. Now I'm going to go a lot darker eventually, but remember, you tiptoe towards your goal. <clears throat> There's two ways to go swimming. You can run the length of the dock and dive in, fearless. Or you can go in as far as your ankles and then your knees and then your waist and eventually... That's kind of how I go swimming, I, and that's how I draw. I do, not, I do not get bold at first. I'm very tentative. The breast, you'll get a shot of a canvas back here, but the breast is what they call black. It's not really black. There's no black blacks. Black is the absence of color and the absence of light, and that's impossible in on the earth even at night so I'm gonna make it dark but not the diver ducks of which this is one of them they're one of their nick one of their many nicknames is black and whites <clears throat> because cans canvasback redhead bluebills ringnecks golden eyes buffle heads Oh, some are gansers, but um, they are basically black breasts and rumps or black backs, white flanks, a lot of black and white, but black, there is no black, 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 just real dark. So there's that. You could see this little light that that um that is the most outermost that is the utmost outermost part of the breast and so by leaving that light it, it advances and the darks recede that's a good rule to remember
lights advance towards you and darks recede. Okay, so I'm just bringing this in. I, I have a little more courage now. Things are sort of making sense and so I'm saying yeah I think we're on the right track so I have a little more courage a little more confidence so I'm going to darken remember you darken an area too soon and then try and change it um, it's going to be a long day and it might require a new piece of paper how do you suppose I learned that so I'm tentative, but I'm, I'm happy about this, and so I'm going to the next darker value. And this is that foam brush. And as I said, this is vine charcoal. Very soft. It does not score the paper. You can get away with murder with this stuff. You can really erase it well. It's not as dark as I'm eventually, I'll have to go to compressed charcoal to get the dark darks that I want, but uh, this is a great place to be in. So this guy is starting to look okay. These are just uh, sort of folds. These are places where muscle groups begin and end. I'm just going off of memory. That's actually, <clears throat> being honest, that's a good looking bolt. So, and believe me, they don't all end up looking good. So, uh, there's that. We'll just, the bill by nature is black, but where the, I understand when I say black, it's, it's very dark. But, <clears throat> but where the light strikes it, where light can strike, strike a black uh, a very dark object or a black object what we call black and the glare from the light can the glare is almost white I think that bill is about a sixteenth inch too long did you see how easy that erased that's the beauty of vine I start with vine I told you you can get away with murder with this stuff and you can There is a nail, what's called a nail at the end of the bill. See that little hook? That's how they grub at the bottom of the slough or wherever they are. So. This is a, <clears throat> called a stump. It's just a rolled up paper. And it's very nice for blending. It gets a little abrasive on the paper, but Okay, so now I'm actually just going to take a number nine, a hard pencil, and I'm going to draw the nostril in. That's about where that guy goes. So that's, that's that guy. And then the light would strike underneath and above. I heard a guy say once, <clears throat> he says, I just paint light. Well, tech, I know what he meant, but technically you can't paint light because only God has light, real light, available to use. However, what we do paint is the effect of light striking objects. That's what we're painting. 
So there's his pupil. And then up here. I am informed that I'm running out of time, so I'm going to kind of hurry this up. The eye is kind of a big deal, doesn't matter, a dog, a human, a waterfall, doesn't matter. You get that eye right, the thing will come to life, and if you don't, you're in big trouble. That's just the facts. Now I'm going to just put a little dot where the light strikes that eyeball. There it is. Okay, now, I wasn't able to do any fine texture uh, I'm going to start accelerating the pace here because I'm I'm being told so um, this is going to be shadow that's pretty good and then I'm going to try uh, I'm going to try and bring in some really dark charcoal. So that would be like here. See the diff? This is compressed charcoal. I use general charcoal pencils. I love them. Uh, but there are others. Don't. There are others. Really good makers of, of art. Also, uh, not good makers of art products you have to kind of ask other artists what works for them they kind of have to separate the buckwheat from the bull crap so they are a good source of to call this a day this is just a Sunday afternoon sketch for kicks it's a bull canvas back another um, hour and a half a guy could have some real fun and really make it quack but I think we're about done here so I'm gonna keep going until Very. Until I get yelled at, I guess. Okay. Out of time, folks. That's a bull can. <laughs>